I lost a comment. I'm so sorry. Someone asked for me to give them a rundown of the different kinds of batting, and I'm happy to do that. I'm so sorry. I cannot tag you. I don't know if it was TikTok or Instagram or Facebook. This is going to be the answer to your comment. I pray to God you see this. Okay, different kinds of batting. So this will be more of an informational post instead of an entertaining post. I'm sorry. I don't even have all of these on hand, so I can't even show them all to you. So we'll just start with probably the most popular, which is going to be a poly batting. So probably the most popular quilt batting that I see a lot of people using is a poly batting, and it's because of the price. And probably also because like it has a good breathability, and so it's not super hot, which is nice for me in Southern California. And it's also really helpful if you have any kind of allergies going on. This is like a hypoallergenic situation. If you're somebody who likes to quilt and have your quilts look kind of like puffy, this has a nice loft to it, which means it's kind of puffy. And it's also going to be nice um, if you have any kind of um, moisture in your air in your environment. So it's like resistant to mold and mildew, that kind of thing. Next, popularity-wise, I would say is probably cotton batting. That's obviously like a natural fiber. It is breathable. This is what I quilt pretty much all of the time with. It's nice and flat, which makes it easy to work with, I think. That means it has a low loft, so it's not very puffy. It makes it really easy to work with if you're doing anything by hand. So if you're going to be hand quilting and um, also really easy for doing machine quilting. So it's really versatile. Now it can shrink a little bit after you wash because it is cotton. And I also like that because it kind of gives it that classic quilt crinkle texture to it. Not everybody likes that. So if you like that quilt crinkle, this is something that you might want to work with. It's also not super, super thick and hot. And I live in Southern California, which is a desert climate. And so again, it's not super thick and hot and it works out really great for my quilts. Now, the person who left a comment asked if they could double up on layers. And yes, if you wanted something that was super thick and warm, you could double up on layers. And I have done that before. And um, I would say just lengthen your stitch length. So if you normally maybe use one layer of this and you lengthen it to a three, maybe you do a little bit longer and you do maybe like a four and a half or a five if your machine goes that high. Now you can also use a wool batting. Now this is something that I would say maybe isn't as popular. It is a little bit more expensive and there's um, you know different brands that you can get this from. Um, this is from Quilter's Dream. It, and I think that this is now I again, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I don't quilt with wool because again, I live in a desert and I have no need to quilt with wool. Um, I did have someone in one of my beginners classes that uh, lived next to a place that made wool uh, batting. And so she was actually to go directly to them and get it. And she said it was so lofty that she was having a really difficult time getting it through her domestic machine. And so I don't know if anyone has used this before. Um, and she was using a walking foot. Maybe if this is something that would be better on a uh, long arm. I don't know. Tell me if you've used it before. She did say it was quite expensive for her to get it. And so I don't know if that's something maybe just with that particular vendor that she was using. I'm not quite sure, but wool is another option. I do know that it is usually chosen because it has a high loft and because um, it is warm, but it's really lightweight. And so it gives you like this really great soft, puffy texture. I mean, think about, you know, lambs and sheep, you know, they have like that really, you know, puffy look to them. So um, it does tend to be a little bit more exp expensive, but you know, it would make, I think like a really great kind of heirloom quality kind of quilt to it. But again, think about moisture, you know, it is wool, so it's going to hold on to any kind of moisture. So if you have any kind of moisture in your air, you might want to really reconsider that. Now, here's something that I have been thinking about switching to is a bamboo or some sort of bamboo cotton blend. And mainly I've been thinking about this because of the eco quality. It is not that much more expensive than cotton. It used to be a lot more pricey than cotton, but it's really come down in the last few years. So it is eco-friendly, meaning that 
you just need a small amount of farmland. It is very easy to regenerate and to farm it. You need less water, less land than cotton. So it's it's still natural, just like cotton, and it's very it's a very sustainable option for your quilts. And it's very lightweight and breathable, just like the cotton, and so that would be good for my area of the country. It's um, eco-friendly because it requires minimal water and pesticides to grow. And it also is known for its moisture wicking properties, so it would keep me cool in the warmer temperature area in the country that I live. So that would be great. Um, it's also known to be hypoallergenic, like the poly batting. So if you have any kind of allergy issues, that might be an, another alternative to the poly batting, and it'd be way better for the environment. It's also known to be um, great for resisting odors. So I would wonder if maybe that's helpful if you have some pets or something like that. So I'm not quite sure how that would stand up. So I've been thinking about maybe switching to that. So I am working my way through the current um, roll. I buy my batting on a huge roll. And when I finish this roll of cotton batting, I'm thinking I might get a roll of bamboo and see how that stacks up. Because if it's more eco-friendly and it has the same kind of loft and it's hypoallergenic and it's better, like it's more eco-friendly, I might as well switch to that. So I guess I can try that out. Um, the other one that I've recently heard coming on the market is soy batting and it's made with soy fibers. I don't have a lot of information on that other than it's known for like it has like a really um, soft and silky texture. There is silk batting also. I don't think that many people use that. I'm sure it's super expensive. Um, I don't know that it's readily available but um, but yeah so soy batting is coming around. I don't know how readily available that is but um, that might be something kind of like bamboo that is uh, maybe more eco-friendly. I'm not quite sure, but that's also another option that might be out there. So hope that um, explains a little bit, but I think probably poly is the most popular. Cotton, bamboo seems to be coming around. And then if you live in a colder area, I think um, wool might be good if you wanted something that's a little bit more lofty. So I hope whoever left that comment is able to see this, but um, yeah, if you have any other info that you want to put down in the comments and just say, you know, what kind you like to use. Um, there's all different brands. I think Pellin is probably the one that I use. Um, I started with them because I did an experiment where I tried out different fusible kind of cotton batting and Pellin was the one that I liked the best. So Quilter's Dream, I know people love Hobbs is what people love also, but Pellin was the one that I, I felt after my little experiment had the best fusible and it actually really held on to my quilt top. Um, I did try the other ones, but it just seems like the glue let go after a little bit. So um, if you wanted to try a fusible brand, I would say try Pellin because I really liked them. I've since moved away from the fusible just because I have a long arm now and so I didn't really need to do that. But if you wanted to try a fusible one, I mean, that was a great brand for me. So anyhow, that's it. That's all I got.